While our commentary is generally family friendly, The Walking Dead Season 3 is rated M by the ESRB. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Steven and Mal Play The Walking Dead Season 3. Last time was Steven's episode and we were in this truck and they were like talking about their feelings while um, Clementine <laughs> and Gabe played Euchre. Which Steven's played, he just doesn't remember the rules to. No one can remember the rules to Euchre. <laughs> it is the world's most complicated and convoluted card game. Maybe second only to... Mao? Is that the name Mao? of the game? Mao? M-A-O? Yeah, is that the name of the game? I mean, Mao is a game, and you get lots of rules, and you yeah. get more rules. Yeah, that game is the worst, but Euchre is probably... Pro Euchre's probably close. Uh, just so everyone understands, I'm terrible at card games. I can't ever remember the rules. It makes it very difficult. You'll play Hearts again? God, no. Anyway, today Mal's in control, and uh, the very moment that we last left off, uh, Javi and Kate were having a conversation, and Kate was kind of starting to like open up and spill her guts about, like, we've had some moments, and they've been hot, and she was like, and we definitely have something between us. We feel it. And then she said, but... And then I stopped it. So I don't know what she's about to say, but Mal's going to find out. Mal, take it away. Before whatever happens tomorrow happens, I need you to know. Whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. But do you feel the same way? I'd really like to know. Look at that bar. Before things get crazy. We might not get another chance. <laughs> Let's go for it. We gotta try, right? Oh my god, really? Really. So are we gonna... <laughs> well, that's done. Okay. Yeah. Shit. We're doing this. You do realize we're gonna have to have a weird conversation with David, right? It's the right way to play this. He already got the sense I was pulling away. I guess that, uh, would be the stand-up thing to do. The stand-up thing, but not the thing you want to do. I didn't say that. Look, I know it's not going to be fun, but it's what has to happen. Oh, I agree. Javi, it's an execution over here. She's planning to hang David in front of the whole crowd. You've got to get over here, now! Don't bring the truck. If they see it, they'll kill him right away. If you can just get into the square... Shit. we got to get over there. Now! Man, I'm really glad that you had to make that decision. <laughs> I kind of feel like I would have... I, I would have chosen the same. Because that's what Kate wants. I'm going to hang back here, with the truck. Keep the walkie close by. We'll tell you as soon as we've got David. That being said, I'm glad that you made Good the luck. decision, <laughs> not me. Blood on your hands. But Nothing what Kate wants is what I want. Nope. And it sounds like a crowd out there. It sounded like Ava got cut off by something. Or somebody. Wish we had some idea of what we're heading into. The great unknown. Like, is the whole plan shot? Or did she just have a little setback? I'm getting a little worried about Ava. Something must have gone wrong. Something must have happened. It's a talent show. We're not gonna know what went wrong until we actually do this thing. So, let's do it already. You ready? We just have to remember. We're people, not muertos. We're smarter than they are. And we need to act like it. Exactly. We've got to take the time to think things through. Quick decision now. I bet that's the end of the chapter. Yeah. Or not. Uh, loading, loading, loading. Who knows? It's not. Can't wait for the others, can we? For years now, Richmond has been governed by one simple principle: strong council, strong community. But unfortunately, 
the actions of one of the members of that council, our security expert, David Garcia, have put us all She's in... lying to all of you! I'm sorry to have to show you this. Truly, I am. But you all need to see. Just look what he's done. He murdered these men in cold blood. I saw him murder Lonnie with my own eyes. Some of the best men I ever knew cut down in their prime. Is this who we want in charge? Someone this reckless, this cruel? Not if I have anything to do with it. I can't believe this is really happening. She reminds me of Norma. She's gonna kill him. She can't do this to him. Try to keep your cool. Joan's smart, but we're smarter. We just have to be careful. We can't screw this up, Javi. Javier! I heard you were planning to crash our little party. Why did you come on up here? Show your face to everyone. I'm sure these people would like to hear what you have to say. Happy to. Been waiting for this all day. Then I'll try not to disappoint you. Please don't kill me. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend Eleanor last night. Isn't that right, Eleanor? We did. She said you were coming here to rally the people against me. Convince them that I was no good for Richmond. Don't know how you thought you were going to pull it off. And that's exactly what I'm planning to do. Appreciate the honesty. Which makes this so much harder. Here in Richmond, people who put themselves before the group don't last long. Bring them out. Get away from me. You're making a mistake. Ava! Oh no. They had them this whole time. David wanted to tear this whole place down. He told his people where to find our gun supply, and sure enough, they picked us clean. You really thought you could ride into town and stage a coup? With our own damn weapons? Something like that? And that's what we're gonna do. I can't just let it go. You've put me in a no-win situation here. So I'm gonna do the same thing to you. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However, Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. No! Hell no! Joan! Don't! Not after what they tried to do. You may be guilty of bringing them into this, but they chose to go along with it. Is this the kind of leadership you've got in store for Richmond? Torturing people with your stupid power games? Justice isn't a game, Javi. It's about time you learn that. Joan, are you sure about this? We never agreed to killing all these people. It's really up to Javi, isn't it? My man Clint. All eyes are on you. Maybe this will help you make up your mind. Boys? <gasps> Come on, Javi. Who's it gonna be? Your friend or your brother's lieutenant? Oh my god. I have an easy answer here. What? Oh, Come I mean... On. I don't want to influence your decision, but I have one picked out. God damn you, Joe. I have one picked out too. Well, it's your it's your I'll tell you once you've made the decision. How could you do this? Let Ava live. She's always been loyal. Hobby! No! Well, there's a hobby I know. Backstabbing, double crossing, no good, dirty fucking murder. Such language. But I admire the sacrifice you're making here, Hobby. Shoot her. Wait! I said don't shoot Ava! You did, but there's something else you need to understand. Betrayal. Joan, think about what you're doing. Ava's one of us. You can't fucking do this. This is fucked. I can do anything I want. You brought this on yourself. Do it. Wait! For what it's worth, I also would have tried to save Ava. No! But, uh, what? Oh they really shot her. On Earth. Oh, God damn it. Now, David, it's your turn. Also, this woman is nuts. Yeah. Can't the crowd see that? Apparently no one has rational thought anymore. I 
I can't believe this. This isn't how we do things. This is madness. Stop her, Clint. Is this the process you trusted? No. Think about this, Javi. You know what's gonna happen here. You ready for that? We don't murder in Richmond. We exile. That's how we've always done things. How about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? Go far away from Richmond, and then whatever you do is up to you. I'm sure the herd outside would like that. She thinks she's sending us out there to die. She's counting on it. Everybody, put your guns away. We're going to handle this peacefully. Don't listen to them, Javi. They're fucking butchers, all of them. Shoot that bitch! Take her out! Oh, snap! She deserves it. We're leaving. All of us. Right now. I didn't say you could go. It doesn't matter if you did. This is how it needs to happen. My man Clint! My man Clint! Oh my god. David. David. What are you? I don't believe any of you. Take your deal and shove it. They're liars, Clint. All of them. One step closer and I kill him. I swear I will. Don't Go kill ahead Clint. And shoot then. I warned you. Stop a second and think about this. I'm done thinking. Ava was the best soldier I ever met. She didn't deserve this. <laughs> Oh dear God. Everything going to hell real quick. Oh my God. Oh Jesus Christ. They're killing everyone. Well. Oh man. This. Wow. Oh my God. David, dude. Uh, d um. Uh. You can't. You don't shoot Clint. I liked Clint. Screw you, David. God, everyone is so messed up. Oh, my lord. Fucking hack! Get back here! Okay, I need you to cover me. We gotta make things right. Okay. Joan needs a bullet. Dad needs us. We gotta get out there. But David needs to fall on a, like, a box of glass. Good David's God. thinking right. What's worth more? His revenge or your life? I think you're right. Gabe listening to reason. This is crazy. There's so many of them. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, that's gonna make things awkward. Like, not only did we kill Conrad... I knew David was gonna do something to fuck this up. I told you what he was like. When are you gonna start believing me? Shit, get down! This is, uh, this is so fire. messed up. What the hell is going on over there? Are you guys okay? Stay away from the square. It's too risky. We'll come to you. I... I can't hear you! Loud. Tear gas. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you want me to rotate it? No, it wants you to just walk. <laughs> it's just saying use the left stick to move. Give me that gun, cowboy. Whack. Oh, you're coming to us? Oh, God. Well, this is a rolling dumpster fire if I've ever seen one. Oh, God. Javi, you've got to get over there before. Welp. Jane!
Wow. Wow. Oh, man. Wow. 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 That's the end of the episode. Like, oh my god. You, did you promise that you would help Kate with the family if David left? Basically everyone. How did you respond to Dr. Lingard's request? You and 46% said uh, refused to kill him. 52% assisted. 1% uh, let Clementine decide. Did you tell Kate that you have feelings for her? You and 80% said yeah. Who did you try to save at the execution? Ava. Yeah, well, there's that's not really a big surprise. Yeah. Because, and I, was this your thinking? My thinking was... Trip we, had already been like, get out of my life. Basically, yeah. Like, we screwed it up with Trip because we killed Conrad, which, again, I am not sorry for. So, with that in mind, like, why, of course you were going to save Ava. And that's probably why they did the reversal thing, because they yeah. knew everyone would be like, oh, uh -huh. Ava. Did you shoot Joan or take Clint's deal? You and 43% chose to take the deal. Wow. So m more people tried to shoot Joan. Interesting. I wonder if it would have killed her or if it would have just been an attempt. Yeah. Good God almighty. <laughs> hey, are you playing... <laughs> season 3? Are, are you playing Season 3 and haven't played Season 1? Are you really confused? Well, now you can buy it. We're good. Wow. That was, um... That was nuts. That was nuts. Like, there's been some crazy stuff in The Walking Dead before, but that was among some of the craziest because just everything fell apart. Yeah. And and characters were reacting in huge, like, extravagant ways, you know? Mm -hmm. A little nuts. Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the episode, Mal, so we're jumping straight into the final chapter from The Gallows. Previously on The Walking Dead... Whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. But do you feel the same way? I'm in. All the way. Oh my god, really? Really. Just look what he's done. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend, Eleanor, last night. Isn't that right, Eleanor? We did. You've put me in a no-win situation here. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However, Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. Let Ava live. Shoot her. Wait! I said don't shoot Ava! How about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? We're leaving. All of us. Right now. <laughs> it's Kate. She's coming for us. Oh, God. In the arms of an angel, him as I So I think we can agree that Chapter 4 was, uh, absurd. Yeah. Absolutely absurd. Still, uh, still several minutes left in the episode. Uh, so Mal's going to start on to this final portion. <laughs> As always, the game series adapts to the choices you make. Oh, God. Flashback? While we're still breathing, Javi, I'm letting the bones speak to me. <laughs> oh, my God. Ooh, I think I can hear them. They're saying, You're going to lose, come mierda, so play already. I must have inherited patience from Ma. Oh, come on, man. 
Calm down, David. Victoria. Carajo. I was so close. You're now my least favorite song. <laughs> hey, he's the one who beat you. Fine. It's a tie. I hate you both equally. <laughs> Kicked out of baseball. Can't play dominoes. What exactly are you good at again, Javi? At least I can actually play baseball. Slugger. That's enough, both of you. It's not Javi's fault. He's a disgrace to the game of dominoes. I won. That's ten bucks you owe me. Both of you. I know you're broke, Javi. You should sit out the next game, since we all know I'm gonna win. No shame in surrender. Good game, David. Nicely played. Nice or not, a win is a win. Pay up, little brother. If you can. I'll cover for Javier. Oh, is it your turn to do that now? I lost track. Poor, helpless Javi. Get my wallet, mijo. Keep an eye on him. You don't want him snatching an extra 20 for gas money. Jesus, David. It's on the counter. Yeah. Sure, Pa. Pa? What's this? Hey! Man, I was reading that. What? Wait, what's up? What the fuck is this? None of your business. He has cancer. What? Pa? Really? I'm old. Old people get cancer. You didn't need to know. That's not for you to decide! You really should have told us. It's the right thing to do. It's my cancer. I get to do whatever I want. You know now. What difference does it make? How bad? It's okay, mijo. Ask me. How bad is it? You won't have to worry about paying me back that ten bucks. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, Pa. Hey, settle, David. Now. You haven't told Mama. And neither will either of you. You hear me? Mouth shut. That's not okay, Pa. You have to tell her. <sighs> when the time is right, I, I will. That's not good enough. It's good enough for me. You're gonna need her help with this, Pa. Driving you to the doctor, getting prescriptions. Wait, what are your options? Treatment, stuff like that. Chemo, radiation, all that expensive mierda. Great. When do you start? I turned it down. Turned it down? You don't get to turn it down. So much money and for what? Another month, another game of dominoes to lose? It's not worth it. If I was still playing ball, I could have paid for it. I'll pay for it. It's not happening. Save your money. Fuck the money. I can afford it. You can afford it, David. But my pride can't. Let's play another game. You are a fucking coward. A selfish coward. David, I get it, man. It's not fair, but come on. Take it easy. Sit down. Both of you. You know, I pray for daughters. <laughs> Every night your mother was pregnant with both of you. Please, God, a daughter. Anything but a son. Anything but another me. Anything but another hot-headed idiot with his heart in the right place. Anything but another foolhardy, handsome gambler. Anything at all. Please, Papa. Don't give up. Fight. Fight for our name. For our blood. For our family. Please, fight. You have to fight, Pa. We don't just give up. Any of us. Okay. Okay? Okay. I'll think about it. Oh, thank you, Pa. Thank you, Javi. Now, can we play another game? I'll grab some more beers. I have cancer. Anyway. <laughs> Thanks, the room. <laughs> so, what are you really gonna do? Truth be told, whatever gets your mother off my ass. You think you two were mad at me for keeping secrets? Hm. 
but it's good to see you and David on the same side of things, or a change. I'm gonna be a name carved in stone before you know it, Javier. That'll be me. Letters on a rock that nobody wants to visit. I know you think you're strong enough to handle that alone. And so does your brother. And you're both wrong. You have to take care of each other. You two are all I'll leave behind. Like Gabe and Mariana will be for David. Legacy, Javier. It's all anyone leaves behind. That and their... Bones. Be brothers before it's too late. That's not too much to ask. One last favor for your old man? Okay, Pa. I'll try. As hard as you can? As... as hard as I can. I still need to pay, David. Pa. Oi, if you had just won the game, we wouldn't have had this problem. <laughs> so you're blaming me for all this? I'm depending on you, mijo. We both are. Hmm. Now, after this loading screen, go ahead and pause it. However long it takes. Oh God! Something's <laughs> happened to Jesus. Uh, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um. Jeez. Chapter five comes out of the gate swinging with uh, a cancer bomb. I'm also really interested to see what the. Uh, the percentage rate will be at the end for that question. Yeah. Because who on earth would be like, no, don't fight. Just, you know, just die. It's fine. It's your choice, Dad. I mean, like, I'm sure that it's going to be some percentage, but I have a feeling that that will be heavily skewed with fight. Um, probably also because, um, you know, everyone's, you know, basically, everyone's lives are affected by cancer. Like, cancer is such a widespread thing that I feel like you can use that and anyone connects to it. So, I can't imagine people just being like, nah, you just do whatever. But I guess we'll find out at the end of Chapter 5. Uh, that is it for today. Next episode, I'm in charge, jumping into uh, Chapter 5 proper and finding out what the heck is going to happen now. Golly. But we got to remember that we promised Dad we would be a good brother, even though it might be very hard. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time for more Stephen Amell play The Walking Dead Season 3.